All right, all right. I think we're live. Hello, everyone. We're checking out this brand new image that just dropped today. The Sleepover 32 gigabyte. I just recently released the top five best 32 gigabyte images. So go back one video, check that one out. That was a good one. Um, we're just booting this one up. This is my second boot. The first boot, there was background music. Wanted to turn that out off for YouTube purposes because YouTube is a crazy place uh, and wanted to get that off. <clears throat> all right, Arash Tube, what's up, buddy? Black screen? It's a loading screen, loading screen. I think we'll get it running uh, very shortly here. Just a moment. This is running on a Motion Blue version 5. Uh, Motion Blue version 5, although an awesome, awesome image, base image, uh, does take a little longer to load as we're seeing here. And we're in. Okay, so that's good news. And uh, let's go ahead and check this out. So this is called The Sleepover. Uh, I wanna make sure I get the author's name. Detroit Retro Gamer. Uh, he borrowed some ROM sense from Level 1 Online and, uh, you know, I, I, he's been around the community a little bit, seeing some other image creators. So uh, he made his own custom artwork in Photoshop as we have our own uh, kind of, uh, uh, I would say, what is this, like 1990s to early 2000s, mostly 1990s, uh, with the um, Nintendo, Sega, Beavis and Butthead references here. And uh, let's start off with Arcade 1318. And uh, there is video snaps, I believe. Picture. There we go. So some videos. I think when you go to Artari, there we go. So video snaps there. Not all the arcade games are going to have video snaps. So 648, large Atari 2600, Atari 7854, Vetrix 23, Family Computer Disk System 90. This is Motion Blue. Motion Blue does come with a track mode, but this is only going to have emulation station set up for you. Nintendo, 791. All right, Super Nintendo, 785. Super Famicom, 473. TurboGrafx-16, 94. PC Engine, 289. Neo Geo, 142. SG-1000, 68. Sega Master System, 277. Cool that it says Genesis, not Mega Drive. For those in the US, 798. Sega 32X33, you got a Cody shortcut, pixel shortcut, settings, which is your RetroPie setup. There is some scripts in here like background music, GPIO shutdown, loading screens, things like that. Nice to see. And then all games, 5885. So no Nintendo 64, no portables. Um, I imagine that's because this is called the sleepover. Sleepover is kind of like you have some friends come over and you game together. You're not gonna be playing portable systems together, so this isn't gonna have portable systems. It's not gonna have your Game Boy, your Game Boy Advance, things of that sort. Who do we have in here? All right, all right, all right. Let me get this settled up. Josh, Eduardo, Arash, what's up? What's up, guys? Um, so cool, let's uh, check out some Genesis. So here we go. You got your games, your snaps. Nice to see. A couple of duplicates in there. Battle Toads. Let's check out some Battle Toads. Let's get this rocking. It did ask for my controller settings when I booted up. We're using the F710 for this. HyperPie 2 all day. Hey, Will Allen. Yeah, uh, HyperPie 2 estimated release another 20 days. So it's going to be a little while on that. Still fancy your chances? Come to me now. All right. Hey, Toads. All right. Let's check this out. Okay, so no bezels. But as you see here, it's running just fine. We're going to kick some swine booty. Oh, no. Something's coming. Get out of my kitchen. Let's get up here. Oh, can I pick up this bat? Here we go. Can I, there we go. It's like I gotta pick up this. Get out of my kitchen. Ooh, 
That charge, though. Take that. And take that. Oh, I could pick up this too, huh? Well, 750 points. All right, so this is working just fine. I've got it. I'm beta testing. How do you like it? I've heard good things. I've heard good things. Um, there's actually quite a bit of other things on the horizon as well. Um, but they're still super beta. But uh, let's try Arrow Fighters 3. Arrow Fighters 3. We beat 2 on the live stream the time before. What's up, Drew? How's that coupon code for the Super Kentaro? Ridiculous. Yeah, man. Everyone is buying those up. For those of you that missed it, go to my YouTube channel. Go to my uh, community tab. And uh, there's a if with coupon code HEATSYNC, you're going to get that for $6. Six dollars. Uh, I had to pick one up myself. Uh, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, uh oh. I have mine right here. You get the sticker. Oh no, we're gonna die here. Okay. I want to show you the Kentaro, Super Kentaro case. Really cool case. And what everyone really likes about it is that heat sink. Well, it's a one shot die type of game, huh? And this tank won't die. Ooh. Um, so Neo Geo running well. Ooh, I almost died there. Let's get some more power. So you do have to hold down the clicker. Okay, I'm dying. Okay. So um, this case right here, the beautiful case right here. Doesn't have a working switches, but it looks really cool. And what everybody loves about this case is this fat hunky heat sink which uh is really cool so yeah thanks josh for the heads up on that and sharing with the community really good stuff you even get a little sticker boom okay art of fighting art of fighting two three bang bed um okay so it's just for the heat sink but still six bucks for the heat sink really really nice stuff really good um cool neo geo is working sega genesis sega 32x let's do some mortal kombat primal rage BC racers. Let's see how we do in this game. Oh, you get the heat case and the heat sink. Okay, good. I was like, ah, uh, I thought we got both. Okay, good. Thank you for clarifying that. Nice, nice. I know some people ordered like 10 because they were so stoked about the deal. Let's go. Uh, how do we change our difficulty? Let's do, let's do hard. Let's just get wrecked. Case is unavailable. Oh, wow. I guess they sold out. <laughs> Did they sell out already? That's crazy. Yeah, there's now like four or five SNES cases on the market now. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it or not, but they are, um, they are looking at making a version two of that case. Um, that's what the rumor is, at least. That's not official. Um, and as we know, I mean, these SNES cases are are selling like crazy. We have the Rast Tendo. That's, that base one just came out. Uh, you have the Super Tiny Tendo. You have the Kantaru. And then uh, there, I believe, I mean, the rumor is that they're going to be working on a version 2 of that case. So um, maybe working switches. And uh, what I would like to see if they were to make it again would be working switches, even if it's a hard reset and a, and a hard uh, shut off. But also getting, I think a lot of people, what they want is they want those USB ports out the front. So it looks just like a, a bike wrecked. Oh man, I wrecked my bike. What do I have to do? Can I fix it? Race over. 
Ah, so you take damage in this game. Not doing so well. Uh, supports out the front, and uh, that'll be pretty good. They emailed me back like six hours later and said sales went like crazy. Yeah, I'm sure they sold hundreds of them. Uh, maybe they're just trying to um, rotate the inventory to make room for, like I said, a version two, hopefully. We'll, we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, let's get into some Super Nintendo action. I actually need to redo my controls. Uh, configuration. Up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y. Okay, that's all set. Um, yeah, so HyperPi 2's on the horizon. Uh, a lot of things coming out. I think there's it's just the community never stops. The community never stops. Uh, I'm really excited to um, to uh, to get the Dreamcade replay. I'll be making a ton of videos with that thing. Hopefully, I get it in the beta and I get a test unit. And uh, we'll check things out like Jaguar, Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, and uh, whatever else we could throw at it and see if it works. We can also do some st um, some Steam streaming. Make sure it works as a um, as a uh, let's do some Miss Pac-Man. Make sure it works as a streaming machine as well, like a home media center. Renee, greetings from Houston. Greetings. They sold out. Dang. Look what you guys did. You guys sold out their systems. Yeah. Can somebody lead me in the right direction where to get the images? I'm sure someone will post that right into the uh, into the uh, chat there. There you go. Josh has hooked you up. Um, can you make a video about crypto mining? No, I cannot because I don't really know how. Um, there's a guy named uh, Nova spirit tech go he's already done a video on it to be honest with you you will spend more well not, maybe not with the pie because it's really low on power but um oftentimes you're going to spend more money in power leaving your pie on than you will make in actual coins and as you know as everyone's saying in the chat bitcoin is dying i don't know if it's necessarily dead but um we'll see what ends up happening all right, let's see if we can just get some cherries here. Eat a bunch of people. Got them all. Get out of my kitchen. Oh, dang. I didn't I thought he was still blue. Yeah, the sophisticated carrot is saying the same thing. You'll spend more in power than you do with the act. But see with the pie, I'm not sure if that's the case, but I, I imagine it is. The people that are really making a lot of money on Bitcoin using like the GeForce 1080 Ti's and these really high GPUs to do it, um, you know, if you look at the calculations, it's not. There's actually websites where you can do the calculations, and uh, let's try Oscar. And um, the calc, it's no longer profitable, even if the Bitcoin goes up. It needs to go up a crazy amount, crazy crazy amount. And then there's what that Bitcoin. Um, University, what was that Bitcoin scam that went crypto, whatever? But then again, you can't really make much money on the stock market either, so <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. Ma, does this guy do anything? Scene three. Let's peep this out. So uh, I have a couple image reviews coming up, which you uh, will enjoy. I got two 128 gigabyte images. Uh, one just about ready to post it probably within the next few days, and then the other shortly after that. So for those of you 128 fans, uh, you're in for, uh, for some surprises soon. Oh, I just got a Game Boy. Whoa, 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 what's it? Can I step on this guy? Oh, there you go. It's a three hit kill on that guy. There's a pickle. Got the pickle. It's kind of like a Sonic the Hedgehog meets Bugsy. Okay, you can't go through walls. Can you f swim? No, you cannot swim. I thought I could swim upstream. Can't join that. 
All right, game, game, game scarf. Can't be, uh... You can't be spamming the channel, dude. Let's, uh... Let's do that. All right. Um, so the reason for this video is to check out this image. Oh, I didn't want to launch that. Uh, custom loading screens, no bezels. Um, for those really basic simple images it does the job it's on motion blue you get the video snaps nice to see um nothing crazy uh i would say the really the big customization here is the uh photoshop here on the main screen and then the actual wheel art on this wheel here as you go back and forth um some scripts installed it is running motion blue version 5 so that has all the scripts and everything pre-set up for you um you do have your favorites and your all games collection set up uh, what are his favorites? Let's check those out. Beavis and Butthead, Berserk, Bomberman, Demon's Crest, great game. Donkey Kong, great game. Doom, we beat Donkey Kong not too long ago. Metal Slug 4, Kirby's Dream, NBA Jam. Those are some good sleepover games right there. NBA Jam. NHL PA Hockey, again, good good game, yeah. Um, Qbert, Splatterhouse, Spy Hunter. Super Mario All-Stars, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario World, and Tecmo Super Bowl. So nice, nice stuff. Um, so I'm gonna have to give this one a B. I mean, it's it's uh, cool that he's trying new artwork and things are getting checked out and you know people are experimenting. Uh, the arcade set, I didn't really spend much time there. Uh, it looked like there were some duplicates, but you know, 1,000 arcade games is a nice little collection. You got the Arrow Fighters. Uh, what else we got here? Art of Fighting. Looks, it's probably going to be an arcade set similar to what you will see on like level one online's image. Um, good game right here. So you got Donkey Kong, some Final Fantasies, Frogger. So you get your classic arcade games. You got your Gun Force one and two, Gun Bird one and two. Good shoot 'em up or. or uh, and JoJo's Bizarre World, good fighting games. Killer Instinct. So Killer Instinct 1, Killer Instinct 2, I, I, it's not gonna run. It's just gonna get a black screen, but <laughs> there's always worth a try. Drew, sorry to ask, but which would you suggest, a can kit or buy everything separately? If you're on a, see it didn't load. If you're on a super, super str str stringent budget, you can source yourself and save like $5. If you just want it immediately, get the can of kit. It's on Prime. You get free two-day delivery. Everything you need in there. Done. Finished. Don't even think about it anymore. People don't realize time is money. Time is money. So if you want to save some money buying things from China, things like that, yes, you can save some money. Yes, it'll work just as good. Uh, but... You know, you're going to be, you know, maybe you'll get your pie this week and then next week you're waiting for your power supply. Uh, it's going to be worth those extra $5 to be able to turn everything on and run it up, you know, as soon as possible. Trust me. Think about think about how much does a movie cost? A movie ticket is like 8 or $10 now or even more. Um, it's worth the price of a movie ticket. As far as whether to go to can with Canakit or there's a company called Vilros or Vilros, They've get sent me some cases. A couple other people have sent me cases or uh, uh, packages, bundles for the Raspberry Pi 3. They're all good. They're all good. Neither of them are really light years ahead of the rest or skimping on anything. They're all they're all really good. So go on Amazon, find the cheapest kit you can get with Prime. I think you're going to be happy. Damn, what's up with all these people leeching? <laughs> Jeez, spam alert! I know. God, can a kit? Yeah, can a kit works. Cool, cool. Yeah, cool. No PlayStation? No, there should have been PlayStation on here, especially with that two-player. Um, but on a thirty-two gigabyte, you're not gonna. <laughs> You're not going to get much PlayStation on there, but yeah, you know, you could have you could have put some of the favorites, some of the good two-player ones. All right, so we're just about done here, checking it out.
Troll alert. <laughs> yeah. Does it make your top five? No, it does not. It does not make my top five. Performan. What is that? Power Power Instinct 1 and 2? Nice. Street Fighter ripoffs. You got Raiden, Robocop. You got your Super Street Fighters and Street Fighters. You got The Last Blade. You probably got The Simpsons on here. Nice. All right. Cool. And you got your X-Men. What kind of X-Men do we got on here? Cool. So X-Men vs. Street Fighter, X-Men Children of the Atom, X-Men Arcade. And you got your WWF. This is good right here. This little section right here on the sleepover. Yeah. That's some good stuff. Let's just run X-Men really quick. Make sure that's running. I told you about this image the other day, but I didn't know. Yeah, Baron's Lumber. I know. I got the message. Thanks, buddy. Uh, also, the creator sent me an email um, um, telling me about it. So, you guys both told me. Thank you. He actually had told me about a day before you, but you still get credit, buddy. Thank you. Uh, is there any recall box 64 gig or 128 gigabyte? Yes, there's a 128 gigabyte that I'm that I just downloaded. I have it on this 200 gigabyte SD card right here. Um, I just haven't loaded it up yet. I just got it to work um, because it runs. Um, you can't use Win32. It's a .bin file when you download it. So I still haven't even tested it out. But uh, you know, .bin file is set up for is set up for, I just lost like all my health, is set up for uh, a USB drive typically. And uh, whoa. And so I was having some issues writing it to a disc. I have now tried it with uh, Etcher and I think that's gonna work. I had a successful write. I just still haven't loaded it yet. So cannot give you a definitive answer on that, but uh, it is it is gonna come up soon. What's up RC from the NYC? You're coming at you're coming at the end, but welcome, welcome, happy Friday. That's pretty cool graphics. It's a pretty cool scene right there. Playing four player in the arcade. That's what's up. All right, cool. All right. So there we go, uh, there it is. Sleepover, the sleepover, 32 gigabyte. Cool stuff, it's always nice checking out new images. Cool to see people's versions of artwork and you know, it, it looks HD, high resolution. You, you know, you put a lot of work into making this background. So cool stuff. If you like Beavis and Butthead, this is right up your alley. Uh, as I mentioned, it's sleepover. It's based on, you know, having some buddies over and playing games, so. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, it is consoles only, arcade, and then Atari up to Super Nintendo, 32X, Sega, and uh, Motion Blue version five. So it's a great base image if you wanna build off of it from here, if you wanna start with that and then add your own stuff to it. The theme's already set up for you. Um, and uh, that's it. Uh, it's not overclocked, it's running stock. Uh, you're gonna have other Oh, that's why I'm pressing the wrong button. You're gonna have a Hursty Blue Pixel Carbon pre-installed. You can add your own scripts as well. Oh, I changed it to Pixel. So there's your Pixel. <laughs> uh, so with that, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off. I just wanted to show this image really quick. Thought I'd do it live versus pre-recording it. I haven't gone live in a while. I've been a little busy, but I got a lot of videos coming up. I got a lot of cases. C4 Labs has sent me a ton of cases. So we got some cool cases from them, a lot of tricked out ones. Like I said, two new images coming up. There's some new front ends coming for the Raspberry Pi, not a complete front end, but Hyper Pi 2, a well with, oh, as well with a mystery one that's gonna be great as well. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of great stuff. Um, I think this year we're gonna see a Nintendo 64 Classic. That's gonna be hacked. And then also the, um, Dreamcade Replay is the last thing that um, 
we got on the horizon. So uh, with that, I'm going to sign up. Eduardo, thanks for stopping by. The, fistic- the Sophisticated Carrot, thanks for stopping by. RC from the NYC, thank you. Thank you for all your support. Got to give a shout out to RC from the NYC for being a patron, supporting this channel. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. Big shout out to you. Jesse Schultz, thanks for coming in. Daniel, Barron's Lumber, thanks for coming in. Oh, this is on my uh, on the wrong keyboard. Um, who else do we got in here? I want to give a couple other sh- shout outs to some people. Um, Kintaru, we were just talking about the case company. They recently hooked me up on Patreon. They're supporting me. They just wanted to thank me for reviewing their case. So really cool on them. Thank you. That was before I had reviewed their case. It, I mean, it was after the fact. So uh, thank you very much. And I wanted to give a shout out to patrons, you guys. I appreciate you. View all current. All right, who we got? We got Frost, Kentaru, Joe, Operative, and Level One Online. Thank you guys for supporting me on Patreon. I appreciate it. Uh, it's not necessary, but if you were to do it, you want to support this channel, it's super appreciated. Uh, you know, it gets me coffees, things like that, keeps me caffeinated to make these videos. Um, it also helps with other things like buying controllers and buying, you know, like the Dreamcade replay. I bought that 100 bucks. Now I get the system and I'll be making a ton of videos for it. So thank you for that. I want to give a shout out to everyone else in here. Um, Detroit Retro Gamer, there you go. Nice. We'll talk more about version two. Um, Gary, thanks for coming in. Jerry, thanks for coming in. Zach, thanks for coming by. Uh, Game Scarf, thanks for coming by. CSIG, thanks for coming by. Apple Device Pro, thanks for coming by. It's been a while. Arash Malik Tube, thanks for coming by. Uh, Renee Cam, thanks for coming by. And I think I got you. Joe, thanks for stopping by. I know you were in here. You made a comment. Will Allen, thanks for stopping by. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say one last thing. Oh, um, we have a, I have a Facebook page. I'm just, I'm kind of tinkering with it. You know, I post videos in there, interesting articles, things like that. Um, so if you go to my YouTube channel, there's a little Facebook link so you can join us there. It's just a Facebook page. Um, if you want to join the conversation, that'd be cool. So with all that, thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one, which is going to be soon.